Our relationship started when Ricky called me one day. I could vividly remember it was a Friday, a Friday morning, and uh, it was around June 2015. And he requested that I come over and to his house and give him a haircut. We immediately bonded. We spoke, we spoke, we spoke endless about things that he has experienced and, and vice versa. <sighs> what left me confused, what left me confused after the haircut, after the haircut, because it's the first time I was giving him a haircut, and he mentioned the words, it's too much, shell. I didn't know, I didn't know, did I apply too much hair color? <laughs> the, following, so the following week, he called me again. He called me again and he asked, he asked me to operate him. I was like, okay. I eventually got, got, to, got to understand the slang that he used with his close friends. And these are the words that they transcended amongst the group of friends that he used. So our relationship grew stronger with every visit. Everyone that knows Ricky knows about the kind of love that he shares, and when he does something, he does it full-heartedly. A brotherhood transcended into being business partners. And I always knew that I could get the most valuable honest advice from him. Because he believed in me so much, my vision for my business and goals, I could talk to him about anything, about anything I was experiencing, and even not about business, even if it's about sports, and also intimate family, things that we might go through. I was honored, I was honored yesterday. I was honored yesterday to give him his last haircut. It was one of the hardest things I had ever done in my life. I must hear him, the sound of his voice saying, it's too much, Shell. but that voice will forever be engraved in my mind as I move forward and continue his legacy.